first of all, thank you. I believe that, um, you know, while some people might think that diplomacy or in multilateral diplomacy is intangible, I believe quite the opposite. Um, in reality, multilateral diplomacy not only makes the playing field even, so that even small states can play a role and have a voice, um, but it also makes a difference. And I think that the work that we do here, it's all aimed at making that difference. For instance, Costa Rica with a group of small states, Maldives, Slovenia, uh, and, and Switzerland, we last year promoted a, a historic resolution at the Human Rights Council to recognize the right to a healthy, clean, and sustainable environment as a human right. And although you think that this is a very basic right, that we should all have the right to live in a healthy environment, it wasn't recognized universally. So promoting that, talking to those that were not convinced uh, about this, talking to those that are against you, I think that's also the beauty of multilateralism. We are not talking to the converted, we are talking uh, you know, to those that have different opinions and we agree to disagree. But we managed to find a solution to a global challenge uh, by dialogue, by uh, negotiations, and, and to make something that now is um, transforming the policy making around the world. We've seen since last October, changes actually happen in the ground, transforming the way in which uh, civil society organizations are, are doing advocacy, uh, transforming the way in which judicial uh, bodies are creating their jurisprudence, and of course, uh, trickling down in new legislation, new policies. And this is what uh, I think is the beauty of, of multilateralism. We do know in the system, uh, and because we really know the SDGs, the process of negotiation, what entails and what is behind the SDGs, um, that we understand this uh, interrelatedness of these big P5 uh, commitments or, or pillars of the agenda. However, I think that we are not as clear in communicating that to the grassroots, to the people although people is one of the piece. Um, I think that that is actually one of our challenges as a multilateral community and, and in diplomacy is to, to be able to transform the meta language into actual language that makes sense to people. Uh, and, and of course, I mean, there's not going to be prosperity if we have poverty. There's not gonna be peace if we have poverty. Um, we are not going to have transformative change unless we concentrate on the biggest challenges, the planet, keeping the planet alive. And if you don't have peace, you won't have, and we are seeing with the current situation, um, you know, the, the balance, the imbalance between conflict and protection of the environment, the imbalances between poverty and prosperity. So we really need to tackle those issues together, but to do it, we really need to do it from the bottom up. Um, we really need to get to the people that is going to, to lead us on how to make that linkages, right? Because people doesn't exist in a, in a vacuum or in a, in a silo. Sometimes we tend to be very uh, specialized in an area, right? So you do environment or you do disarmament or you do human rights, and we tend not to talk uh, to each other. And I think that is a challenge that we have to overcome. And when you go to the ground, and when you talk to an indigenous uh, community or you talk to people with disabilities or you talk to women or any group, you will see that their challenges are cross-cutting. You know, when we talk about intersectionality, of course, we're talking about we need to discuss prosperity for people, for women. We need to discuss peace for women. We need to discuss um, environment and, and the planet for, for all the groups. And by making our responses as inclusive and as participatory as possible, is that we are gonna get the responses that are gonna have the real impact that we're looking for. So the transformative change that we all aim for 
uh, won't be achieved unless we make sure that it is inclusive and participatory. And that is at the center of making this big piece uh, part of a whole, a, a, an integral idea and an integral response to people's needs. Thank you.